Hey, welcome back. There's a local artist who has been described as provocative. His piece is addressing the raw physical truth of the human condition. Absolutely. Artist Jesse Berlin joins us to not only talk about, but show us some of his work. Jesse, now we're looking at, you know, some of the work right behind you and some of it on the, on the table here. And we're going to get more into that. Um, looking at this one even particularly, when we say kind of taking the human form or, uh, you know, condition, what does that mean? Well, for me, what I find typically in the art world is a lot of people want to address a sort of idealized notion of what it is to be human. And, you know, I spend a lot of time watching the news and reading National Geographic, et cetera, and I find that most people's lives aren't really described by the American middle class illusion. There's a lot of suffering involved in being a human being, but there's also great poetry in that as well. I mean, if you look at all the great works of art through history, you look at people like Shakespeare, I mean, there's pain, there's suffering, there's misery, but there's also, there's also a lot of beauty to that. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to shine a light on that aspect of life rather than, rather than try and keep it in the shadows and keep it in the dark. I want people to understand that there's more substance to being a human than just the, uh, you know, the suburban ideal. Well, and looking, you know, this actually made me think, and I, it made me think humans are such multifaceted beings. I mean, there's Absolutely. so many dimensions to a human. So it must be really actually challenging to make art like this. You know, it's strange for me. I mean, I've always been fascinated by this sort of macabre subject matter. Even when I was, you know, a toddler, uh, you know, I would always draw really dark stuff when I was in kindergarten. And, you know, I'm not a very, you know, dark person. I'm a pretty happy guy. But um, I just find that I'm reflecting what I see in the world, and, and it just kind of comes naturally. It's, if, you, if you look at the world objectively and honestly without trying to sugarcoat anything, you can find this sort of information just flowing in and out of you. And we said at the beginning that some people may say that this um, art is provocative or thought provoking. Uh, so who is like, who is your art, your audience? Who are you doing right. this for? <clears throat> well, and th this is the interesting thing because I I've spent a lot of my life in art academia. I have two degrees in sculpture. Um, and what I've found is through postmodernism, through the 20th century, uh, art has become very isolated. It's become a very much an insider media. And I want to bring it back to the average person. I have a lot of trouble with the fact that you have to have studied art to understand art. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I make subject matter that's very visceral, very intense, and also very literal so that people can access it whether or not they've read volumes on the subject. And th that's also why I produce, you see on the table, I have these smaller works. I'm very interested in the notion of bringing art into everyday life. I think that there's no reason that the average person shouldn't be able to surround themselves with beautiful objects that have some level of Meaning. So I, I try to make smaller, more affordable works for that market because I'm really, I'm really frustrated with, as I said, the isolation of modern art. Well, and you said a word that I really like that I was actually thinking myself, macabre. And mm. I think that in general, people are more into macabre subjects and, and movies and, and art than yeah. they like to admit. Absolutely. I mean, you know, if you just look at what's happening in the media these days, I mean, the most popular show on television is The Walking Dead. I mean, you know, people are really, I mean, we, we live in a grim world where we're always at risk. I mean, there's always terrorist threats, etc. And, uh, and there's always this possibility of menace and damage coming into your life. And to just ignore that and not address it and not engage with it is, is, is folly. And Jesse, I want to actually have you talk us through the video that we're watching right now. This is actually one of your pieces. Right. This piece is called uh, Futile Struggle Against the Inevitable Death Rattle. Uh, what I've created here is a scenario where a person is trying on my skin and my face in a sense and looking into a mirror and seeing me at my moment of expiration. So when you turn the crank, the mouth opens and you hear a moan that's designed to simulate the agonal breathing that occurs prior to death. And it's, it's a moment where a person's looking into a mirror and thinking, this is going to happen to me. It, it brings home the reality of mortality, the fragileness of life, and, uh, and the futility of it. So that's And we're hearing, you know, what you want to bring, uh, you know, like you said, it's not always the white picket fence, and, you know, uh, you know that's not how life always is, and you right. kind of bring that. Where does that kind of fit into the Tucson art scene? Well, it's interesting. Um, Tucson's art scene, in my opinion, is on the verge of exploding. I'm trying really hard through the Sculpture Resource Center. That's my studio at uh, 640 North Stone. Please, anybody who wants to, stop by any time. We love visitors. But right now, we're trying to broadcast broadcast to a larger audience and raise the level of conversation. Tucson has typically been sort of a folky, hippie art scene with not a lot of organization. And through my work and through my promotion of other people's work, I'm trying to, as I said, elevate the conversation, try and make Tucson a place that people consider a serious art scene. 
Excellent. Jesse Berlin, everybody, thank you so much for coming on. Thank this you. Is, I mean, beautiful pieces, and you really, really uh, get us thinking about it. Appreciate it. And, and one quick note also, if you're interested in this sort of work, we have Sculpture Fest coming up uh, at the end of January. Uh, that'll be an event on at the art studio, or sorry, the art gallery on Stone. So if you get a chance, come check us out. Uh, a lot of Tucson sculptors will be involved. Thank you so much. And you can find out more information about the sculptures and Jesse himself at BerlinSculpture.com.